Hey, my name is Matthew Lecter, and I am currently a professor at ITT in Louisville, Kentucky, and I am also getting my PhD. Okay. So this is what is called the law of large numbers. So this is what is called the law of large numbers, and, and for myself, as I was going through as a graduate student in mathematics, as I studied deeper and deeper into this specific theory, uh, this and the central limit theorem, um, I actually uh, started to become more and more of a believer of a spiritual nature to the universe and a purpose to the universe. Ironically, there are a lot of people that go into statistics and become more atheistic because of uh, the course of of that study of mathematics, but for me, uh, I have really found that this particular theory has made so much sense to me in terms of the spiritual nature of the universe and that is there a purpose versus is this thing just random chaos. If I have some probability, x, the average, which we will denote as x bar, as a sample, so that what I'm doing is, is accumulating each event and I'm adding it on to the previous events and taking the average over this thing, that this eventually converges to the true value of what is meant to happen. What ends up happening is that over the total sum of uh, an entire sum of possible events, this average value will converge to the true number that is lying in its programming uh, of the universe. So that for some reason, and we can explain why obviously through physics, why, uh, you know, that uh, the value of c, uh, is one six to roll a particular value on a die, but for more complex things, uh, we can say, well, you know, why is this occurring? Where is this thing being driven from? Uh, we may not necessarily know, but we can find that as this thing converges, it actually gets closer and closer and closer to a number that was secretly, uh, spiritually, and mechanically designed to get to that value by someone or something or simply by the universe itself is that if I have a random value and I'm taking the average of that random particle, sometimes it'll behave like this and it'll behave like this and it'll behave like this. So this thing is pre primarily random and it's just kind of going all over the map. We don't know where it's going to go to. But as this thing continues to move, the average, and we're going to say that this line is simply the average of the sum of all its valuable, of, of all its events, that we find that this thing seems to converge closer and closer and closer to a particular assigned invisible value that has always existed and laid dormant underneath all its random courses. So what we find here is that as this thing gets more and more events, that it seems to get closer and closer and closer, guided by some strange invisible hand forcing this thing to go towards its true destination. Hence, you have true randomness, true chaos in the immediate moment and actual destiny.
in the infinite sum of all its parts. You have predestination and free will occurring at the same time.